What's up everybody? Eric Kaiser, New You Guru Life Coaching. I'm coming at you with something so special. I'm gonna I'm gonna blow a lot of your minds. Some of y'all might think I'm crazy at the end of it, but for those who follow along, who adapt to these principles I'm gonna be teaching you in basically Damn that thing just scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going, to, I'm going to keep that as a blooper, but what the, come on, really? Could you imagine being able to, uh, in the middle of talking and seeing that? Jesus. Let's try that again. I'm Eric Kaiser, new you guru life coaching. This is waking up with Kaiser. Before I get on the tripod and get all serious, I want to show you my, my view God has blessed me with some of the nicest views since my awakening, let me tell you. And um, it's a big part of waking up. You will want to get back in touch with nature, which is, it's so much fun to get back out here after you forget what it was like. From, you know, being a kid to be out in the woods and how exciting it was and that feeling. And watch, watch this series, people, and I promise you, you will get information That'll open up your eyes and you'll change your life. I love y'all. Eric Kaiser. Let's do this. All right, people, let's do this. I'm Eric Kaiser and I'm going to get brutally honest with all of you. And some of you are going to look at me like I'm crazy because you remember the old me, right? The egotistical drunk who, look at me, 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 look at me. I had to be the center of attention and I thought I was God's gift and really at the end of the day, wow, right? My ego was really slapping me around because I was nobody. But see, we get sucked into this, this culture scape of reality while we're growing up as as adults and this what forced me into an awakening now you have to keep in mind some of us are here to wake up first to help you wake up but the key in life is to wake up so if you're seeing this content i would take it pretty seriously because it's your duty it's your job to wake up because if you don't the way you're living right now like whoever is watching this whoever needs to hear this you don't have to be afraid of anything. You don't have to have anxiety. You don't have to have depression. You don't have to live in fear. You don't have to take medicines. Life does not have to be the way it is. But unfortunately, a lot of powerful people took over this country and just like powerful people took over other countries and they started to, to hide certain information from us. And that's what my job is, right? I want to take the information I learned over the last course of my life and I want to give it to you for free. You know, a lot of people charge for this stuff. I'm just going to throw it out there because I promise you, if you live your life to these principles, you're going to change your whole entire life. You're not just going to change a little bit. You're going to change a lot of it. And some of the changes you might go through might be unpleasant. Unfortunately, they're necessary to become your higher self, to become the real you, who you were intended to be, and live your purpose on this planet. Now, the problem with life is, is that we're kind of conned. You know, there's things going on right now, like fluoride in your water that crustifies your pineal gland. That's the seed of your soul. There's a book out there called Seed of Your Soul. Go listen to it, right? And basically what that is, is it's your little antenna and that little antenna can connect you to source energy to god because once you really wake up and you realize that you're just a soul you're not this body i know again you can say whatever you want but i understand how it all works what happens is is fluoride all the stuff that we're putting in our bodies all these chemicals horrible all the chemicals that we apply to our body horrible all the chemicals that they've been putting on clothes and furniture and all this stuff for all these years, horrible. Basically what all this stuff does is it, it lowers your inner vibration. And when your inner vibration is lowered, you're, you're not receptive 
to any damn thing. You're not receptive to intuitive thoughts. You're not receptive to your higher self. So you're literally going through life just forcing the hell out of life because the way you got tricked into living, right? Some of it's, it's, it's eating sugar and foods that we shouldn't eat. Some of it's drinking alcohol. Some of it's turning drug addicts, cigarettes. There's so many vices out there. There's so many tests. But people, think about it. That's why they're there. They're tests. Read the damn Bible, right? They're there to entice you. That's a lust lifestyle. When you're running off the ego, you're running off a of lust. Can't run off of that, right? It's got to be purpose over profit. You got to run off of your soul. You got to run off of wanting to be a service to mankind, right? And people hear that word service and you always think like you're doing something for free all the time. It doesn't work that way when you understand all the principles which I'll be teaching. Now, with the things that you're putting in your body, you're blocking out in the best day and age to ever be alive in the information era of the world you're missing out on the best damn information because of the way you're living your life what am i telling you drinking alcohol is lowering your vibration it's turning you into somebody that you're not you're not paying attention to signs you're just going through life in a fog if you're eating antidepressants and all that same damn thing if you're eating all this processed food, same damn thing, because people, it's all there to do that to you. Look at the way the culture scape is set up. Look at all the little circles and everybody runs around in and this and that and this and that. And we're all like little hamsters, right? We're all moving. It. We never stop, right? But the trick to awakening is realizing that you get to stop because you get to realize that all you have to do is realize everything is love on this planet and everything turns around for you. And then when you realize it and you really get it, then you start teaching other people. See, that's where I'm at. I finally got all the information and it came smacking me to the point that I could take it all and just sculpt anybody. I don't care what your issues are. We can fix them at this point. Holy cow. You know, when I first got started, I thought it was going to be just addictions because our country loves to get us addicted to stuff, don't it? Man, there are so many different addictions. And the funniest thing about once you get these addictions and you go to meetings where they make you remind yourself about the addiction, which you'll learn is so damn stupid. But anyway, so everything around you is a perfect plan to keep you stuck in poverty because they wanted us all to be products and they did a damn good job. When I say they, I just mean powerful ass people. I don't know who they all are. People who own all the sugar right the paper like we're talking about go way back in the day when textiles first started we're talking about the mecca people right we're talking about the people who lobby politicians that's the reason why all that stuff too don't even pay attention to it just just live your life in a different mindset and none of that stuff matters right none of it i mean it won't even touch you it, it can't touch you because you're living your life to the universal principles, not to the American justice principles, freaking president principles. You're living to universal principles. And when you're living to universal principles, you're living like God. So really, do you think anything bad's going to happen to you if you're living like God? No, people. The bad stuff happens to us when we're living in our ego. That's when all the horrible things happen. That's when we're sick all the time. That's when you know we're getting into car wrecks and near dying. And like these are all things like, hey, they're all warning blasts. But the biggest thing they are, they're all karmic patterns. It's all the stuff that you did coming back and smashing you straight in the face. And people hate hearing that part. But like if you keep going through your life right now, if you watch this video and you don't go, holy hell, if he's right and I have to pay back every bad thing I do and say to everybody, oh Lord, I'm screwed. So yeah, I'm telling you every bad mood that you even project on other people to affect them, that's coming back at you, whether it happens at the diner when you're in a good mood and the waitress just hates your ass, but it'll come back at you and that's the karmic law. That's the positive and negative. That's the importance of all these videos that you start aligning yourself to the more positive aspects of life even with the stuff that you put in your body because it's all frequency, right? Okay, 
Now let's break down frequency. And keep in mind, I do this just out of the rip from my brain. I sit down, I think, I do it. I'm in my direction that you'll learn about energy numbers. Look up your energy number. Just go on Google, put how to figure out my energy number, get your energy number. It's so important in life because everything is energy. Everything's a frequency, people. So the whole vibration thing. I'm not going to keep kicking the government too much, but basically we're programmed. And the key to life is breaking that program, restarting the system, and living the way we were meant to live. So I don't want to keep going through what's the government doing, but there's a lot of corrupt stuff going on. I'm sure you could figure it out. But the key to life to winning, even in those times, is you have to stay right up here. Because at the end of the day, you're the puppeteer. You're the one controlling the show. You're in control of it all. It's all of us are one, and this is your version of it, right? And your version, your version in here reflects out there. So whatever you carry around in here is the reason why you're living your life the way you are right now. So I know that might be deep, but all this stuff, again, it's not your fault. Pat yourself on the back. These are living team beliefs that we pick up during childhood. That's right. Like, I was never meant to be the party guy. I wasn't meant to run around and sleep with all the girls and just do all that dumb stuff that I was doing that I thought was just, I thought that's what life was. Now, lucky for me, maybe I didn't take it seriously on purpose, right? Maybe I knew this was all a charade. And maybe now that I'm awake, I totally forgive myself for everything I ever did because, you know, I didn't know any better. Because when you learn that you're pre-programmed, you should be able to stop and look at your life and go, okay, so you're telling me that I picked up all these bad habits from my parents, from TV, from my friendships, and I, I made who I thought I was to adapt with that surrounding. And yeah, that's what I'm telling you. We adapt into something that we're not. And then we try to handle that going through life and considering that we're forced to grow up so quickly that we never get to even experience spiritual maturity because now we're tricked by religion that teaches us that praying to God, you just simply kneel down and say a couple words, which people, it's better than nothing. Religion, it is what it is. I'm not going to say anything bad about it because I don't speak in bad tongues. But you could take that concept any which way, shape, or form. It's all coming public now, so I really don't have to even talk on it. Oh, with life being frequency, with all these distractions, with all these things going on, what do you what do you think's happening right now? Basically, all the foods lowering your vibration, all the chemicals are lowering your vibration, and what you're missing out on is connecting to source energy prana there's prana all around us look up prana some scientists think prana is god because without prana nothing is this because everything is made out of prana because when you understand energy then you'll get it all but what you want to do in your life is you want to connect to that energy now what the government doesn't want you to know when you're growing up is even your spoken word affects your life because it takes you out of connection with prana any negative that you use affects you in a negative way anything positive that you do affects you in a positive way you're like a magnet right whatever you have going on is what you have coming back at you this is so so very important people because it takes a while to get control of that right it takes a while to realize that there's a little voice in there that's pretty much running the show most of the time and that little voice is running off of old programs right and it always thinks the worst is going to happen it always it just it's a peckerhead the key to it is is shutting that little voice up and the government knows that that little voice is there they know that you're running off of ego because you got pushed into the culture scape 
that creates the ego you know it puts us all separated as kids we're competing in sports we're going after the same girl we're fist fighting like we're doing all these things that wealthy people like i said in a video before over there laughing at us all like <laughs> they don't understand how easy it is right i'm not a genius i simply live my life by the principles and these wonderful things come to me because I'm at the right frequency. That's the reason why I promote a seven day raw vegan diet right away when you awaken. Why do I say that? Because it's gonna put you on the correct frequency because a live food has the highest vibrational frequency. Doesn't it make sense, people, if you really think about it? Do you know water talks? Like water talks. When you freeze water and if you yell at it, it'll freeze ugly. If you're telling water you love it when it freezes, and like snowflake, snowflake type of stuff, scientists have already done this, it'll be beautiful. What's that tell you? Everything, these trees out here love when I talk positive. They just love it, right trees? <sighs> Get yourself some oxygen, people. That's another thing. Do you know that we are trained to breathe wrong? The deeper you're breathing, the better your life. Do you know if you breathe more through your right nostril? That's your creative nostril. It lights up your creative side of your brain. So a lot of times I'll go, and I'll breathe a bunch through that nostril just to get that, that, that flow that I need going, right? Because when you understand frequency and energy and vibration, it just all makes sense. And when you understand that without a bunch of worker bees what's going on out here right life would be really simple if we took away a lot of the things that we think create fun and entertainment right i mean really think about life now most people are staring down go out on the bus go out to the mall go out to eat go out anywhere and stay conscious for once in your life right stay in the moment you're gonna learn about the moment too Look around, what's going on? You'll see it, trust me. And it might edge you the wrong way, but basically we're being taken into another program if it's not stopped to the point of we're gonna turn into AI people, right? Like we're not gonna have a choice. Like that's where the world's going because everybody is falling out of social alignment we're not we're not talking anymore we're not going out with our friends like we're going out to bars where we have drama but we're not what's the last time you just sat around with a bunch of people and just talked right you didn't get drunk you didn't like you just talked you talked about interesting things you know think about that think about where our world is headed if we don't all wake up so stop staring at your damn phone there's better things to do i'm going to talk to you about being in a moment like being out in these woods right now shooting this video i'm forcing myself into the moment right now because i'm shooting a video so i'm really i'm really keeping very close attention on what's going on around in nature why am i doing this because even though i'm out here in the woods sitting in this chair there's other things going on out there that's energy and i need it positive to come at me so for me to do that, I have to stay out of here. I got to stay out of that, that little voice. And even the best spiritual people, until we reach full enlightenment, we still have problems with that. I still meditate quite a few times a day to shut the voice up. And from watching these videos, you'll learn that meditation is the key to that. Are you trying to take control of that voice? Like when you're done that fight with your wife, do you want it to be over? Or do you want to go think about it for two more hours and think about what you could have said? And for the wife, do you want to do the same damn thing? Because that's just a karmic pattern. You're stuck in an old program. Again, everybody, pat yourselves on the back. It's not your fault. I don't want you to feel bad. We all have to go through this. But luckily, some of us wake up and we have the courage to make videos and put them on Facebook for you to watch. Whether you criticize us positively or negatively, it doesn't matter to me. I know why the content's created. The content is created to let you know that everything's energy a positive and negative and make that give you purpose to want to chase down that that positive emotion and get out of that drama
as you learn all the principles in these videos and you start applying them to your life, I guarantee you will start to message me and say, you know what, I'm seeing a difference in my life. You know, I'm seeing a difference in all my relationships with the people around me because I'm going through life in a different headspace. Right, when you start realizing that you're creating most of your stuff and all you gotta do is keep yourself happy and think about happy things and keep your vibration high and you go through your day like that, you reflect that. Every person that you see around you, that's how they behave. You know, the old me, nobody would talk to me. The new me, I go out in public now and I sit down at coffee shops and I have some great conversations. And you know, I'm going out of my way to make new unions and connections with people that I would never have talked to before because I understand that our egos get in the way. Our egos create negative energy. So when we're in that negative space, like we're missing out on the most intuitive moments of our lives where we could be making these life altering connections, people, but we're too egotistical to get out of our own way to even give the people a chance. You know, I'm one of people now that anybody who messages me, I'm just like, oh, what's up? And, you know, I try to see who they are, what they're about. You know, I'm so interested in people now because... I enjoy everybody's company, but I first had to enjoy my company, right? I had to get to know me, and that's that's a big part of the awakening. You're going to learn how to do that, but people, it begins with understanding what's going on, number one, around you. Understand that there's been content being made by authors for hundreds of years talking about this but since we live in a poison toxic life we don't come receptive to it right once i decided that i wanted to change i became receptive to new information and i decided that change was a it took a while people so if you're seeing this video it's time to get the ball rolling. I want you to make a conscious decision today before we end this video. What is it in your life that you want to change? Right? That you consciously are ready to say, you know what? Today is the day. Is it cigarettes? Put down those cigarettes. Right? Is it how you're eating and treating your body? Come on, let's do it. Go seven day vegan. Are you still drinking Monsters and Red Bull? Do you know that's that's knocking like years and years and years and years and years and years off your life? But it's not just knocking. You know, death would probably be the best thing because at least you come right back. But living with disease is suffering. And all that stuff you're putting in your body, all that Red Bull, all that monster, like you are just suffering. And you might not be suffering right now. You might be like, oh my God, it's so yummy. But in 10 years, when you're laying in a hospital bed, it's not going to be any, it's not going to be yummy anymore. You'll be chewing on ice chips with tubes in you. Because you decided that playing the game was more important than taking care of your body. Let the game be over, people. Let Joe be more popular than you. Let Barry buy the nicer car. You know, let whoever have the better boat, the better house, the better this, the better that. Because at the end of the day, when you think that that's the better, it's really not. Because inside, Joe and all them other people, they're living the same terror that you are. The only people who win at this game are the people who wake up and they decide that, yo, there's a whole different way of living out here. And, you know, I can just stay aligned and I can just stay happy. I can just smile and I can enjoy my experience. Anybody who follows me this whole last year of my life, I've done nothing but get healthy on a mountain bike. And I have had some amazing adventures. No, I don't own a brand new Corvette, nor do I care because I got my time. I got my mind. Like, you know, port, this, the, my mind, I got my mind. It's so amazing when you can start to grasp your own mind and you can think about what you want to think about that's when you start getting soft inside because you you choose to think about the times that you were riding your bike and trying to out outrun the rain right or the first time you kissed a girl when you were a kid 
or any of your first experiences because that's kind of what happens to us is we shut that side of us off and we stop chasing after that because we let the culture scape suck us up and then we're products and then we turn our kids into products and then they, they jump on the wheel not mine my kids are not going nowhere near that wheel so I hope everybody enjoyed episode one I'm going to keep the episodes eh, uploadable right but I hope you enjoy this. I'm going to be going deep, people. This this information goes very deep. So if you're going to follow along, I suggest you start an all-natural diet. Because if you, want to, if you want to understand what I'm going to be teaching here, you're going to have to be receptive. So Eric Kaiser, I'm the new you guru. I'm an intuitive life coach. I can teach you amazing things about life. I could show you things that you didn't know existed. I can make things happen for you that you'll be like, oh my God, that was a miracle. And it all starts right there. And when you get that, life begins Life begins to get really easy, guys. So I love y'all. Keep your vibration high, tribe, right? Just keep the vibe up there. Whether it's reggae music, whether whatever it is, Always just try to stay happy on the inside. Stay out of that headspace that drags your life through the mud because the more you stay in that headspace, that's when them problems are coming. Them problems are attracted to it. And it just, really people, it comes from right there. It's important. So I love y'all. Till next time, this is episode one of Waking Up with Kaiser. I hope you enjoyed it. Follow, share, high five. Love y'all. Peace out.